A new genetic experiment gone awry is set to appear in Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2 and most content creators have shared their opinion on what it will be, however I know what it could actually be so let's start and no, it is not going to be a hybrid, I can like pretty much say there's no shot at it being hybrids, now why do I say this? If you have not noticed, Universal seems to be pretty much done with hybrids right, in Dominion, no hybrids, Chaos Theory Season 1 no hybrids and if you take a look at the games too the games are a good indication Jurassic World the game they've removed hybrids entirely the past year they did not want to touch hybrids and recently in Jurassic World Life they added Angel and Rebel the Spinoceratopses but not as hybrids whereas everything else in the game has pretty much been hybrids you know you would assume the original Spinoceratops yes that is made from Spinosaurus and Spinoceratops but Angel and Rebel they are not hybrids so maybe they could appear in season two i do not think that the genetic experiment but it's possible they could appear but not called hybrids anymore but majungasaurus will it be majungasaurus well it can't really be because sure you know majungasaurus and spoilers is said to you know cannibalize on its cellmate basically um that's not really gone wrong that's in the nature of what majungasaurus is meant to do even darius does say that in season two episode one that that is the natural behavior of Majungasaurus, that they're cannibals, they're meant to eat each other. So, you know, obviously we know we're going to see Majungasaurus, it is going to be a major antagonist. You see what I did there? A lot of people have been saying that joke because the name for this Majungasaurus is major. We don't know the name of the dead one, which will be a black Majungasaurus. It looks similar to major, but it's black. I don't think it will have a name considering it dies before the episode even starts. But, you know, for some reason they're giving it a minifigure even though it's dead, so I don't know why. Maybe there'll be a third Majungasaurus. I did see someone speculate that. But yes, Major is one of the antagonists, but I don't think it will be the experiment. There's also Sukumimus. Now, for all anyone knows, there's only two Sukumimuses. However, I am believing there's three. It's going around. People are saying there are three because we had the grey one in season one, episode 10, right? I don't think we'll be seeing much more of that because it's stuck over on North America, the mainland, whatever, you know, not the mainland, but you know, just North America. Whereas Sukumimus, the yellow one, we did see that at the end of season one, but I do believe they cage it back up and it reappears in season two. However, I don't think that's the only one because Mattel has made two Sukumimus toys. They're very similar. One's more of a yellow color that's meant to have red spots that's the tiny one but then they've made a bigger one that's meant to be a more brown one with like muddy spots so apparently there's going to be variations of Sukumimus but I do not think it'll be the genetic experiment gone awry because there's multiple of them right but what could it be let's get into Red the Atrociraptor I think Red the Atrociraptor is really important it's going to be really important for the you know story of Chaos Theory season 2 why wasn't Red in season 1 I think it's as simple as they just want to continue the Atrociraptor story, right? But people are going to get bored if it's the same thing over and over, right? So they've done Ghost, Tiger, and Panther all together. But because they want to continue that story, maybe they've done Red separate just because it looks different and it will get people excited for the Atrociraptors again because it's something new. Sure, we see it in the movies, but in new animation form for Red. So that'll be exciting. How could this be a genetic experiment gone awry? I don't necessarily think it is. Sure, it might, may be an experiment, but I don't think it's gone wrong. I think they're going to use Red to, you know, maybe try and control the other Atrociraptors, and maybe that's how Soyona Santos gets a hold of them. And, you know, maybe the laser pointer, they're using that on Red to try and test the other Atrociraptors. That's how they get them. Maybe. I don't think they're the genetic experiment, though. But what is a genetic experiment? The Locust kind of were, right? They weren't necessarily hybrids, but more amalgamations using Cretaceous locust DNA with... It, it could just be that. I don't think they were really fused with anything else. It was more just Cretaceous locust DNA. And, you know, it might have been normal locust DNA, but I, I really don't know. But if you read the description, right? It says, amidst a sprawling dinosaur sanctuary, the creation of a new genetic experiment goes awry, leading to unforeseen dangers as the escaped creature no plural, just creature, no S, just creature, wreaks havoc, a blend of old allies and new faces races against time to restore order and prevent the animal, no animals, not the animals, just the animal from reaching populated areas. So it can't be the locust, because one locust alone is not a threat, right? Ali Sattler was easily able to put it in a cage, 
just one of them. It did nothing, so it can't be the Lucas. So, maybe it's something massive, a super predator, and that's why they don't want it reaching populate areas. But I'm going to give my thoughts on why it won't be. And I think there's only one possible super predator it could be, but I'm going to go over the three main ones. So Spinosaurus. We all know and love Spinosaurus. I very much love Spinosaurus. It was my first favorite dinosaur until, of course, Ceratosaurus and Proceratosaurus. I figured out about them, even though Ceratosaurus was in the same movie as Spinosaurus, but I gained a love for it later on in my life when I grew up and learned to understand it wasn't just a red T-Rex with a horn sniffing poo. Anyway, anyway, Spinosaurus, it can't be Spinosaurus because there's one Spinosaurus, sure they can remake Spinosaurus, but it will never be like the old Spinosaurus. It would have to be some sort of new one. That old Spinosaurus, they can't recreate that. That only Dr. Wu knows how to create it. So they can't mess it up, right? There's only one of it. So let's move on to T-Rex. Could it be T-Rex? I don't think so. I think T-Rex is more an in-gen exclusive thing. If you think about it, the amber they got to make this T-Rex DNA, they probably got from the Prologue Rex and that helped create all the Rexes. Now we know there's meant to be about seven that InGen created and then there's the juveniles, the offspring. I believe I know all of them. I know it's crazy, but I do think they're all kind of out there. You've got Rexy, you got Buck, Doe, Bull from JP3, you got Big Edie and I think they're a pair and that's why Big Edie gets revenge on the Spino for Bull, you know. Um, Red Rex and the young Grey Rex, even though these aren't in canon yet, Red Rex was meant to be in canon, stay tuned for that video. And Young Rex, they've just made a figure of it and I think that might be important considering they made a figure of Red Rex. So, I don't think they could be making a Rex amalgamation or genetic experiment gone awry because they've already got it. But Giganotosaurus, this is the second most likely thing I think it is able to be, however I don't think it is. Because Giga, right, if you look at the prologue, that is the paleo accurate version in the Jurassic World universe for Giga. And if you look at the Biosyn Giga, it's pretty much the same. So you can't say it went wrong. Maybe it's scars, but I feel those are more battle scars. And we're going to learn how it got those in Chaos Series Season 3 maybe. But yeah, what do I think it could be? We should already know the answer. It sh has been put in front of us because in this description, it kind of says there's, you know, just a only one, no plural, no multiple, only one creature was at a genetic experiment gone awry. And we've seen a picture of a baryonyx with our eyes. I don't know how it could be a threat with our eyes, but this baryonyx, I think, might be the genetic experiment going around. But yeah, make sure to watch the video up here if you enjoy, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.